So, in this part we install Flutter Firebase for our macOS. For that, be sure that you are using Flutter version at least 3.3. Now, I will upgrade my Flutter version. It may require to update your Xcode version too, because I have recently updated my Xcode version too. And if you have the same error, just copy this comment and run it. Press Enter. Press Space. And again Space. And here, type Agree. After that, try Flutter Upgrade. If it doesn't work again, try it with dash dash force. Now it's OK. It's running Flutter Doctor. As you see, it's alright. Now let's create brand new project. And here Write project name without underscore. I name it Taskape Firebase. And we create Firebase app. Press Get Started. Add new project. And here, be careful. You must type the same project name as your Flutter project name. We can get it from here. Go to the Android folder, App. Here inside default config. Com example, after that project name. You can copy it. Project name is ready. Now continue. Continue again. Here select default account for Firebase and create project. It may take some time. When it's ready, press continue. Here is the main part. We use it to add Firebase to our app one by one, I mean, separately iOS and Android and so on. But now, we choose Flutter. It will install all at once. So, just follow my steps. Go to the first link. We choose macOS. Here, we install Firebase CLI using automatic install script. Copy this command and run it on any terminal. Type your password. To test the Firebase CLI, let's run this command. To allow the Firebase CLI, press Y and press Enter. I prefer login to Firebase using Google Chrome, so I copy the link and paste it on Google Chrome. Choose an account and allow. Run this comment to see all Firebase project lists. And here are all the projects. We done the first step. Because we already have a Flutter project and installed Flutter SDK. So press next. In the second step, copy this comment and run it on any terminal. And here copy this and run it on terminal. This comment auto installs executables into bash RC or bash profile file. It's ready. Copy next command and run it at the root of your Flutter project. I mean here only. And this is the amazing part. Here we choose which platforms do we need to configure. At the moment it installs all platforms. Use arrow keys to go up and down and press space key, select or unselect. In the end, Press Enter key. It takes some time. Press Enter key again. Now Firebase configurations for all platforms are ready. Let's check it for Android. Go to Android File, App. 
And there is a Google service JSON file created for us. Here you can see the ID. And here is the file for iOS. So now, we need Firebase core package. Let's install it on PubSpec YAML file. If you want to add the dependencies like me, be sure you have installed the extension named PubSpec Assist. And press Alt plus Space. Now, we import all necessary files to lib folder. You can download it. So, press Reveal in Finder. Unzip the downloaded file. Copy the all files. Press replace and it replace main file. And here, in the text file, copy the all dependencies that we used before. Pass them and run flutter pub get comment. And here, in the test folder, we need to fix this error. It must be the same like our main file. Here, in the project, we are using hydrated block version 9. And it's already migrated. So, press next. And in the last step, we initialize Firebase. For that, just copy this function. and passed it into the main function. And copy and paste the package imports. Press the continue to console. That is all with installation Firebase on Mac. In the next lectures, we continue coding on Windows because other parts are the same for macOS and Windows and so on. Ta-ta for now!